the New York City Trump trucking situation is going out of control. You already have a lot of people on X talking to truckers who are boycotting New York City over the state's decision to charge Donald Trump almost $400 million for what they say is a victimless crime. Now, I personally haven't really watched any of the footage or read much about the whole Donald Trump $355 million situation because there's so many different perspectives on it. But you kind of get the idea of where the truckers themselves stand. They stand with Trump because Trump apparently cares for them. Trump cares about the auto industry in America. Trump cares about truckers and a lot of the working class in this sector. And we need truckers in this country, especially we don't even have a good rail system. Now, if this was another country, then maybe some of the cargo and goods could be shipped by rail. But in the United States, semi-trucks and truckers are going to be the backbone of our economy. You got several truckers saying that under no circumstances will they ever cross that bridge again. Somebody even said that they're never going to New York City ever anyway because the cops constantly give them tickets. And you also got some of the shipping companies, they've even joined in on the protest as well. In fact, if you watch some of the videos on X, you get a pretty good perspective about what's happening with a lot of these truckers and even female truckers coming out and saying that whatever is happening with Donald Trump is unjustified and she's even stopping shipments to New York City. And a lot of people have been laughing at the situation and I'm not going to laugh at all and let me tell you why. Most of our cargo and everything that we use is done by truckers. I want to say real quick, if truckers suddenly don't exist tomorrow, everything's going to stop in America. Our really lousy rail network is not going to pick up the slack at all. Most of our transportation, even from the ports, like the LA port, the New York ports, the port in Miami, are done by Class 8 semi-trucks. So it seems like everyone has become experts in the trucking industry overnight. Currently, America needs almost 100,000 truckers to fill the demand. Truckers' jobs are safe, guys. There's nothing to really worry about. And same thing with this guy is saying. He's essentially saying that who said that no one needs truckers? Everyone needs truckers. In fact, with the GDP growth doing so well and consumerism at an all-time high, I think truckers are in more demand than ever before. This is probably a more stable job than like tech jobs and finance jobs out there. But the thing about truckers is a lot of people do get burned out after a few years. It is a very difficult job. Very, very long hours as well and a lot of hours away from her home and away from work. So this is what's happening here. Many truckers are saying that their boycott could be shutting New York City down very quickly. They're not very happy about the whole Trump fraud ruling now what's going to happen here new york is already crumbling guys if you guys haven't noticed just go to new york city right now there's one really big situation that's destroying the whole city which is the migrant crisis new york is super compact it has eight million people people are squeezed like sardines studios sell for a million bucks now there's about almost a hundred thousand migrants they've already spent over a billion dollars on the migrant crisis they need more food they need they need more supplies they need a lot more money and now with the whole trump ruling situation trump has even called on truth social telling truckers to boycott and help them out which is exactly what a lot of truckers are doing so even if shipments like for example to new york city drop by five to ten percent is really detrimental to the whole entire New York City population. There's a lot of good people in New York, but many truckers are just not really happy about the current situation with Trump, the ex-president. Now, look at this. You know, new study found that U.S. is facing a massive truck shortage by 85,000, according to the other Twitter user. And if you look into the GDP growth, it's enormous. U.S. GDP grew by 3.3% last quarter, which is unexpectedly strong. Consumer spending is at an all-time high. We are buying things on a constant basis. So yes, if even 5-10% to of truckers refuse to go to New York City, the whole city will be having a massive supply crunch. Not to mention groceries and goods and everything else will be a lot more expensive. So there's a massive boycott. And have these boycotts even worked before? Absolutely. I've heard stories about boycotts in Colorado, for example, actually brought the state of Colorado to their knees within a very short amount of period. Now, this is one of the most interesting aspects I've ever seen. I'm very curious about 
what this scenario will bring to New York City in the upcoming few months. But so far, it's already gaining a lot of traction. If you go on X, if you go on other social media platforms, truckers are talking. Okay, we already have seen entire shipping companies, though they are small, have refused shipments to New York. This is getting kind of wild, guys. Let's see what happens. This is a very intense moment in U.S. politics. So, con blow, what do you guys think is going to happen at the end? Do you guys think the truckers will win? Or do you guys think New York will be on top? See you guys later. Comment below. See you later.